channel to the old subscribers. I had to and I love you guys so so much. So today is the meet and greet with Wardy Maya, Vanessa Combi and also Pedro Sheldon. Follow me and let me come to you what So many people, but I think I made a worst mistake, man. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Um, I also want to thank um, Menswick Hotel for sponsoring this event. So we are not paying anything for this event. Ooh. What am I is here? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm the most wanted man, man. Yeah. <laughs> so we are here to take African content to the next level. I keep on telling people that each and everyone can be a content creator. But it all depends on you. There's nothing special about what am I? Not absolutely nothing special. But it all depends on the kind of confidence that you have. See, when I tell people that I'm an introvert, they don't believe it. I'm an introvert, but YouTube made me an extrovert. So sometimes when my introvert Personality comes, people think that, no, oh, that's not what I'm at. like, no, that's me. But I'm here to tell you that, listen, I don't know how to start, because I feel like if I start talking right now, I'm not going to finish. But let me, I don't know, can we start with questions? Because, I, listen, I, I feel like, are we all YouTubers? Yeah. Okay, so now let me understand. So, we have YouTubers here. What else do you have? Supporters. Supporters. <laughs> <laughs> what, what again do we have in here? We have, we have fans in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can I see only my fans there? Yeah. Huh? Oh. Oh. Observers, observers. Uh, I, mean, I, I see you. I'm a hater. I'm a hater. <laughs> You're a hater. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do we have people who use Facebook in here? Yeah. yeah. See. I'm gonna tell you all something. Social media is here to stay. I used to be that guy that whenever I do YouTube videos, people see me to be jobless. But you're never, I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna say this. You work more than someone who sits in the bank. You work more than anybody who does five to nine, what do you call it? Nine to five. It's just that people have a wrong misconception when it comes to content creation in Africa. Sometimes I look at people because I'm not that guy who wants to show off to you that hey, this is what I have. Uh, no, I'm not interested. But I'm interested in what kind of impact can I make with my YouTube videos. Creating videos is all about your passion. What do you enjoy doing? And whatever you enjoy doing, let it pay you. If it's not paying you, stop it. Am I making sense? Yeah. Whatever you enjoy doing, yeah? See, I enjoy eating. It's just that my content is not about eating. But if you enjoy eating, just pick up food, eat, record yourself, put it on any social media platform. I was on Twitter recently and somebody said, Facebook doesn't pay. Like, is Sabalo made it? You know Sabalo? Yes. Sabalo made me late, man. Sabalo is, Sabalo is supposed to be around right now. He's one of the people that he's making it big when it comes to Facebook. He has about 6 million followers on Facebook. He's building his houses with just income from Facebook. But 
searching for it. I'm going to use myself as an example. I started YouTube videos in 2013. Two years, when I upload a video, my highest views will be 10. Oh, is that? Yeah. In, in 10 views. And out of the 10 views, I think I watched nine of them. We're like you. See? Like and you. let me tell you something. I didn't even know, I didn't even know that when you refresh a YouTube video, it, it counts. got 500 views. Everyone, I was in the dormitory, everyone on my floor got to know that I had 500 views. So all these people, they know my story. So whenever they test me, they, they, they will be like, we're so proud of you. So don't give up. So first you have passion. It took me two years, no one was watching me. I, I didn't even have, I started YouTube videos with Samsung S2. And I didn't know how to edit. So whenever I shoot video, I go and give it to someone to edit for me. It will take like two to three months. Be before, before I get one video, the day that I got mad, that why is these people doing this to me? I think my, come, come, come here. Come. Come here. This guy, I've been working with him since China days. He's from Tanzania. Yeah, I can see. Hello everyone, my name is Peace of Subsidy. We can't hear you from out here. My name is Peace of Subsidy. I'm from Tanzania. Peace. Peace. Yeah. No. Peace. Peace from Tanzania. I started working with him when I was in China. He he knows he knows my story. To the extent that this is what I have to tell them. Those days, he was one of the people that when I give them videos, it will take them four months to get my video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a time Peace was even fed up because Maya, I mean, we have gigs. Thank you, Peace. We have gigs, like, you know, he's a videographer, so people pay to, but you, there was a day, I got to a place, got the people that I want to shoot videos with. Peace was supposed to come on Saturday. Peace did not show up. Peace went to do his gig. And he left me, oh, Peace. <laughs> so this is my story. So I, I know where, Peace, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so it's all about having passion for what you do. See, you might start today, it might take you three years. Someone might start today and the person will blow up right now. Everyone is different. Don't compare yourself with anyone. See, sometimes I'll say that, I don't know why there are so many people here. I normally watch everyone, unless you are doing makeup videos. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, if yeah. I don't know you, maybe your videos are makeup because me, I shower, I just wear my shirt and I'm out. So I don't know, maybe I need to apply some makeup or something. Oh, Miss Rudy needs it too. No, but she has to watch it herself. Thank you. It's a place that I would say that it changed my life because I was born in a village, went to China. First time using a water closet was when I went to China. Because straight from the village, I came to Accra to apply for my visa. I'm a big fan of fried rice, man. How many of you enjoy eating fried rice? Man? Because I only used to get fried rice when my mom goes to funeral and uh, birthday parties, weddings, and she brings fried rice. That's when I enjoy eating fried rice. So when I was applying my visa to go abroad, my dad gave me money. When I go here, it was fried rice every day because I don't get a chance to eat fried rice. So I just want to tell you, whatever passion that you have, bring it on camera. You might be a doctor. Do you know how many people want to sit home and know the kind of medication that they need to use? Make money out of it. I would love to know like, each and everyone's passion, but I feel like there are too many people today. See, I want to ask five people a question. Why do you create YouTube videos? I am very good in terms of YouTube, so that's the only thing that I can talk about right now. But I just want to know, why do you create YouTube videos? Yes. Can I have an extra mic with him? Can I get an extra mic? Why do you create YouTube videos? Why do you create? Okay. Hello, Maya. I am Maya. I am Maya. My name is Romain 
you are limited in terms of growth. You are limited in terms of income. A video that will pay this man for speaking English, maybe he might be getting a thousand dollars, but you using three, trust me, you get even more than hundred dollars. We all had the same views. I don't know if you understand what I mean. We, we, we all had the same views, but we are not making the same money. We are not on the same level. Somebody might have a million subscribers, having so much views, but language limits everything. So I don't know if I'm, I answered your question. I'm not saying don't speak your language. You can, but know that your, your videos will just be around Ghanaians. But if you want to go global, speak the global language. Thank you. Okay, next one here. One of our main focuses is to show the diaspora how they can choose come back here. Because a lot of people abroad who don't know Africa is actually an option for them to come and move to. Now, we want to show the positives. However, there are some things that topics that are controversial that we are really passionate about and we want to talk about on the platform. Now, from a financial point of view, so those videos we might create them and freeze them for a minute. So, will advertisers look at those videos? Or people who advertise on you know, the ad spend and all of that, will it affect that if you've got a, I don't want to say negative, but possibly a controversial video? It, it won't affect it. The, I think the ads only affect um, black, like black related content. How do you want to speak about that? So, we have um, a YouTube representative from you know, West Africa, the whole of Sub Saharan Africa, yeah? So, I think you. you You'll be the best person to answer that question, I think. Um, hi. Hi, everyone. It's really see. so good we can to see, see you guys. Like, see the number of people here. It's ridiculous. But anyway, just to quickly answer that. No, if it's controversial, but not, um, what's the word? Not violating any of our community guidelines. So that's nudity, profanity, those kinds of things. You should be fine. So if you're talking about, you know, a particular topic that, you know, is controversial, but it's controversial in terms of culture, but not necessarily violating any of our community guidelines, you should be fine. But I think most people would see, like, you guys are probably familiar with the yellow icon, right? Like, so when you see the yellow icon, that means we're reviewing it, but usually, um, as long as it's not violating community guidelines, you're fine. Thank you, Adi. Okay, next one here. Thank you so much, Wale, for organizing this event today. A uh, very quick question. I wanted to find out, I know most of us are jumping on the YouTube wagon now, um, but with all good things, things have to come to an end. So in terms of if YouTube does come to an end, but we're also invested in it, have you given any thought to how to diversify? Um, That's why I always say, Snapchat's. <laughs> I, I think that question is for me, yeah? Because I'm that guy, if the platform is not paying me, you will see me there. Yeah. When Instagram decided not to pay me, it was recently that my guys were forcing me to start uploading on Instagram. When I, I saw that, you see, I don't just jump on YouTube just like that. One, impact. But you need to have what, a backup. I will say this, I'm going to answer this in two forms. If you're a YouTuber, as soon as you start making money, think of investment. See, YouTube is changing every day. Now they're even charging us taxes. It's changing every day. So you need to have what? A backup. When the money, how many of you are getting paid in here? Hey, you got your salary. How many people? How many? Ah, no. How? Monetized channel. How? No, if you are monetized, just raise up your hand, please. I need to talk to you. Oh, I know. Some of us are not. I know, right? I mean, but we have a lot of YouTubers here. So, which means that we have a lot of work to do there. Yeah. Are you a YouTuber? Ah, no. Yeah. That's why I have to. Okay, so but don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna work on that. Let me just 
It's more of um, investing. As soon as you get the cash, I mean, now I think you need a financial person. But currently, we're setting up a, a TV station that will cover the entire continent, where we'll have a representative from every African country that will be telling the African story. Because my style is that I want to take Africa to the world, and I can't do it alone. I need people. So that's why I always do videos with everyone. So we'll be having a representative from different African countries. That's our backup. Um, and, um, and no, no, no it's, that's why I'm going to Jamaica in November. Yeah, so I'll be in the Caribbean. No, nah, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be in Jamaica in November just because of that. So the whole of Caribbean, we're going to be there. I'll come December to the US. That's my government. Okay. When, when I saw the video, I was like, that is new in the space. This is why I love Nubuke. Is Nubuke here today? This is one of the reasons why I love Nubuke because you see something that has not exist in the African YouTube space. We should have it. Not all of us can be showing you hotels. Not all of us can be showing you entrepreneurs in Africa. Not all of us can be showing you makeups. There's something in you, like what you enjoy. I love what you see because it's. See, after here, I'm going to subscribe to your channel, yeah? Okay. Because I feel like I need some mentorship, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, channels like this, it's so different. You watch, you learn something new. I, I subscribe to so many channels that I know in Africa. Anytime you subscribe, you watch something different. Like this person, even though whenever they come together, they exchange subscribers. But if you go to their channels, everybody's videos are different. Okay. I want us to work together, let's collaborate, but let's be unique in our own way. Yeah. Hello, Maya. Um, my name is Charles A.P. I do videos about farming in Ghana. Basically, I break really good content. Wow. Yeah. So, um, the question I have is, has to do with issue two poles. One has to do with the monetization. So, normally, when they are monetized, they used to go send me a pee, and I request for anything. It might, it's, it's, it has taken a longer time, and it's not been here. Two weeks. Two weeks to be here. I applied in the program. No, 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 I, I, then you have to use the right post office, because I just did it for, Someone, a new cycle in Ghana, two weeks ago, and I just went for the letter. Mine is since April. Is it in Accra? Yes, in Accra. Since April, it's not in here. And normally, too, they send an email that with time when they are not in the remove the yeah. organization. Yeah. So I wanted to ask the YouTuber here. Then the COVID time, I said, oh. some of these things take a number. I don't know for me, but I have to say in two weeks, I don't know what I'm doing. Work, right? See? Right. I've subscribed to your channel a long time. Man. Yes, I'm aware. I joined you like you know. time of <laughs> Maya, one last question to you is, I got a good related content. Yeah. And recently, with your interview with Tyler Felix, yeah. you told him you started some farms and yeah. that you do. Yeah. I'm making a proposition. I'm shooting my show. Okay. When you are ready to show this, I will I'll invite you. I will invite you. I will appreciate that. I will invite you. I need to appreciate that. And my viewers to appreciate that. The reason why I subscribed to this channel was I was just on YouTube and I saw a farm video. And he, oh, he only concentrates on farming. And I love farmers, you know. And this is what I'm telling you. It can be different and unique in your Literally, I was in Ghana just visiting. And I met Vanessa, I met Wude. They said they were doing this amazing event and said I should come. I didn't expect that it was going to be such a full room. But this is so, so amazing to see and just to see like the amount of hunger you guys have to learn. Um, and I know I've gotten a lot of feedback that YouTube needs to do more in Ghana. We will. You'll be seeing that shortly. But again, I just wanted to say like super excited. I echo everything everyone has said. Consistency. Keep going. I think that's amazing. Definitely take advantage of all our online resources. I'm hearing a lot of questions that if you literally go to our, like, I don't know how many people are familiar with our Creator Academy. Okay, a few people, yeah. So if you go to our Creator Academy, you will find most of the answers that you're looking for. And because of COVID, we've actually not been doing a lot of in-person events. We've been doing virtual events, which means anyone can attend. We had a Creator 360 Africa in May, and we had creators from Ghana attend because it was online. So, I mean, and I think I heard feedback that a lot of people don't find out. So we'll try our best to make sure that we push that message out there. 
check out your creator studio because that's how we let people know what's going on, right? That's how we push notifications to you. But again, I mean, I think, let's give a round of applause to Woody. This is just amazing and so proud of him and so proud of what he's doing. And I think, I mean, we want to see more creators like him, right? We want to see a lot more creators like him. So hopefully next year we'll have more creators reaching 100,000, 500,000. Someone is almost at a million subscribers. <laughs> so yeah, no, we're just really excited about what's going on in Ghana. And I'm looking forward to us doing more with you guys. So thank you. Thank you. I think we have only one request to you, Chief. Adi, before I say that, do you, you guys know that there is a fund for black YouTubers? Yes. I know Ghana is excluded. Wow. Yeah, she doesn't want me to say that. I think Vanessa, Vanessa can be there. So we, we want YouTube to allow Ghana content creators to also have the funds. So that's why Adi is here. So we are, we, are, we are telling Adi that when you go back to UK, is it UK or US? Tell them that they need to open the funds for Ghana content creators. Because we are also pretty. We are perfect. Thank you. Instagramming you. And by God's grace, I happen to be here and you are having this event. So I came out to let you know that the next event, I have my wife and I, we want a hotel in Bawamala. It's called the Pass Royal. I want you to host for the next year, two years, whatever it is. I believe, I believe in what's happening. This is good. And we have to help ourselves. This is a movement. Right. Can I hear that? This is a movement. This is a movement. And it's here to stay. And it's here to stay. Thank you. So what am I, I, I just wanted to let you know again uh, that this is something that I want to partner up with you. I know if I message you, you might think I'm a scam or something, but I physically wanted to come. So I let you know that it's real. Let's do this together. Let's collaborate. Let's work together. We need ourselves to get to the next level. We're not waiting for the politicians or anybody else. All right. So please, let's join forces together. Let's help ourselves. All right. And so let's talk. What, what channel? What do you do on a channel? I know this channel. Come on. <laughs> this channel is always in my DM, in my comment section. Oh, that's you. Oh, wow. You see that I know everyone. It says I don't know the faces. Yeah, but hey, I want to tell you something, yeah? Like I said, in 2021, each and every one of you needs to be an Ashawa on YouTube. <laughs> Ashawa means the fact that you love what am I does not mean you can't love her. Please spread the love. Let's make it happen. Subscribe, support her. How many so let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Can we get her 2,000 subscribers? Yes. Please make sure you tag me in this video. Make sure you tag me in this video. Okay. 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 And one million for Molly Maya. Oh. Yes.